Welcome to TV Repair Made Easy, brought to you by ShopJimmy.com. Visit www.shopjimmy.com to search the hundreds of thousands of TV parts in our inventory. To be best prepared for your board replacement, you will need the following materials. So let's get to it, shall we? Locate your TV's identification label and take note of the brand name, model number, serial number, and model code if present. Unscrew and remove the back cover. The Y-Sustain, or Y-Sus board, is located on the left side of the chassis. The Y-Sustain connects to the PDP assembly through a buffer system most commonly called a Y-buffer or a scan drive. This buffer system can be comprised of one or two boards or can be built directly into the Y-Sustain. Some manufacturers suggest replacing the Y-Sustain board and all Y-buffers as it can be difficult to pinpoint faulty boards. Carefully unplug all wires and ribbon cables by hand. Unlock the wire connectors by squeezing the tab or tabs and gently remove the wires. Be sure to keep a firm grip with both hands. Using your finger, flip up the tab on the ribbon connector and gently remove the ribbon. Please do not use a screwdriver to open ribbon connectors, as it can cause damage to the pins. Unscrew and remove your original board from the chassis. A partial part number for this item can be found printed on the barcode label. Search your partial part number on shopjimmy.com to find a compatible replacement. Filter your search results by the appropriate part type. Click on the search results to view important product specifications. Verify that your original board matches all requirements noted in the product description prior to purchase. Insert all screws to secure your ShopJimmy replacement board to the chassis. Reconnect all cable and ribbon connections. Gently guide the ribbon back into the connector Match the line printed on the ribbon cable with the edge of the connector and close the tab on the top. Return the back cover to its original position and secure all screws. This ShopJimmy replacement board does not require any manual configurations in order to function. Simply plug in and power on and your TV will function as if new. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comments section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button 